Question two. Have you tried Dragon Age? It is like Mass Effect. Okay, I can see why you said it's like Mass Effect. Only because it is made by the same company, which is Bioware, or the developer, which is Bioware. But it is not the same. Why? Because Dragon Age takes place in medieval times, while Mass Effect is more futuristic and sci-fi-ish. But the choice that they do in that game and the RPG elements, some of them are kind of similar. But I, I can almost say that Dragon Age, or at least Origins, have way more RPG elements than Mass Effect. But the reason being is because a lot of medieval games have a lot of RPG elements, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, I've actually tried Dragon Age. As a matter of fact, I've played the shit out of Origins, which I feel like playing right now, but I can't because I'm doing this video, so yeah. <laughs> yep, I've played Dragon Age. I've actually had Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Awakening, and Dragon Age 2. And I got all DLC for all three games. Well, actually two games because they don't have DLC for Awakening. But yep. I've tried it. I might, I might actually do a walkthrough on it if I attempt to, but I'm probably going to do it after the Mass Effect trilogy is over and all of that. So, yep. Question three. I heard you hate EA. Why is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. EA, 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 Electronic Arts, E fucking A. Oh my god. Me and EA have a long history together. And not like I've met anybody from the company or anything. It's just that the games that they publish have pissed me off a lot. So that's why I say that me and EA have a lot of history together. It's insane. Why do I hate EA? It's not that I hate EA. I just really, really hate their marketing system. The way how they market their games, it's really stupid. Now, I gotta say this though. When you make a game, they know how to market the shit out of your game. As in, they know how to make it known. But they make it known for very terrible reasons. They really do. And not to mention, they have a, a huge history over overworking their workers. And you can search this up, actually. Go to the wiki page of EA, and you see so many lawsuits. As a matter of fact, there's a reason why EA has been called, for two years running, the worst company in America. They've beaten poison companies. They've beaten Bank of America. Only because not a lot of gamers love EA, and I'm one of them. Reason being is because they have a tendency to make our games shit. They really do. Now, I don't know who to blame for this. I mean, okay... Let's go for, you know, stuff that a lot of people say that was shitty. Um, Battlefield, the free-to-play version. I forgot what it was called. That game was garbage. It really was. And EA support the shit out of it. SimCity. I did not like the fact that it was, oh my god, like always online DRM. Are you fucking serious? And a lot of people play that game offline. <laughs> Why would you do that? That, <laughs> that idea alone proves how stupid you guys are. I mean, I know EA is stupid, but they can't be that stupid. Here's another one. <coughs> the Mass Effect 3 controversy. A lot of people say that they've forced Bioware to rush the game. And I'm going to have to believe it. Why? Because of their past history. I'm going to have to believe it. Now, if EA would have given them at least one year, then by all means. But I'm not going to explain too much about Mass Effect 3. I'm going to wait for, you know, for me to do the review on Part 3. But... That's my two cents. They've ruined a lot of games. Not to mention, something that I've always pissed off about EA is the fact that they decided to have every single single player game have multiplayer in it. Now, with the exception of Mass Effect, there's not a game that I've came across that their multiplayer sucks. Actually, sorry, Need for Speed and Mass Effect 3 are the only series or games that I've came across that their multiplayer is awesome. But every single other multiplayer is garbage. Not to mention, their games that are meant for single player, they're putting it for multiplayer. Why? Why is that so necessary? There's a difference why a game is specifically made for single fucking player. Seriously. It did not need that. This game, Mass Effect 3, did not need multiplayer. It did not, but they put it anyway. And to be honest with you, I love it. Even though I sound so fucking hypocritical right now, I fucking love it. I don't know why. I just do. But I did not think it was necessary in the game same thing with dead space same thing with um i can't think of any other game but yep i'm gonna have to go with that <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah crisis is another one i don't think it deserved multiplayer but at least the multiplayer was eh. i mean it was good but at the same time it was bad in my opinion but yeah that's my sense on ea <laughs> ea is just think of ea 
as my ex-girlfriend. Because they really are my ex-girlfriend. I used to support this company so fucking much. Now I fucking hate it. I hate it with a burning passion. But anyway, yep, that's probably the reason why I hate EA. I probably can make a whole commentary about this, but I'm not going to do so because it's going to take too much time. But anyway, what other walkthroughs are you planning on doing? As a matter of fact, you can check in my channel right now in probably the about section and you're going to see what walkthroughs I'm planning on doing. As a matter of fact, one of them is Mass Effect Part 1. So I probably might do that after I finish Bioshock because I'm really getting close to Bioshock. As for Far Cry, I'm not sure. I might even go back into the Star Wars The Old Republic if and only if my computer runs functionally because I'm not even able to do Champions Online, which is sad because a lot of people want me to do it. So, yep, those two. But if you want to really, really check and get a straight clue on what walkthroughs I might do, then I highly suggest you check out my channel. It's going to be in the About section. So, yep, those are the walkthroughs I'm planning on doing right now. Um, next question. And this is from another guy. Um, do you like Subway or McDonald's? Subway, 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 fucking Subway. I fucking love Subway. I don't care about McDonald's. The only thing I love about McDonald's, to, to be quite honest with you, is their milkshake and probably their McFlurry. And that's pretty much it. As for their burgers and fries, eh, I mean, it's good, but it's not really awesome-ish. So, yep, Subway to the fucking max and I will defend that argument to the death I don't care Subway is my fucking favorite and if you're a fan of McDonald's and not a fan of Subway then I'm sorry to be going honest with you I prefer sub sandwiches than you know burgers and fries to be quite honest with you actually that's more healthy to be quite honest with you even though the Subway sandwiches actually pack more calories than you know fries and shit like that but oh well not my problem Especially since I work out and everything like that. Um, let me see. Next question is from the same guy. He actually forgot to ask me these questions. Um, what is your favorite game or series? All right. I already established my game. As for my series, my favorite gaming series, two of them, no, three of them pop in my mind. The Crash Bandicoot series, the Kingdom Hearts series, and the Mass Effect series. Okay. I'm going to have to eliminate Crash Bandicoot on this one. Why? Because um, I haven't played their games in years after I sold my PS1. And not a lot of PS2 Crash games were even good. So that kind of decreased my, oh, my favorite, my favorite gaming series. Um, as for Kingdom Hearts, um, Kingdom Hearts, I've played a shit ton of that. The problem with Kingdom Hearts is they take a fucking while to make to make another installment. How many years have I waited for Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out? Is it like seven, eight years? Because if I can remember, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out probably in 2005 or six, I can't even remember. So that's actually, that's more than six years, that's seven. Seven years waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. Is there an announcement? No. Are they even fucking planning on doing it? No, they're planning on doing another Final Fantasy game. Why? Come on. People have been dying for this, please. Please Square Enix, do something. Oh my god. So, if I have to pick my favorite gaming series, even though I hate the fucking ending to this fucking game, it has to be Mass Effect. You know why? Because this game is the only game I went out of my way, but I mean out of my way, to buy the books, the comics. Um, what else, if I can remember? Um, I bought, the co I bought the, all the books. I bought all the comics of the series. I've, I went so far, because I was so frustrated towards the ending. I went so far to buy the PC version of this game. The PC version of this game. And download a mod just so I can be satisfied to this game. If that doesn't prove how much I love this game, then nothing will. Nothing honestly will. So... I'm going to have to say the Mass Effect series because I put too much time invested in the series. I've actually read a lot of fan fiction from it because a lot of people know how to do good stories involving the Mass Effect universe. Um, I buy all, almost all their merchandise, so I'm going to have to say, yep, favorite series, Mass Effect. <laughs> it's been established, yes. 
All right. Next question, he mentions, what is my favorite TV series? My favorite TV series is The Walking Dead. Hands fucking down. Back then, it used to be Young Justice, but Cartoon Network have to cancel it and bring us this shit called Teen Titans Go. What the fuck? But, yep, Walking Dead, hands down. Actually, that's probably the only show I actually tend to watch. As for other shows, like Regular Show, probably Adventure Time, SpongeBob. I still watch SpongeBob from time to time. Um... <coughs> Uh, Tough Puppy, Fairy Odd Parents. You know, some of the cartoon ones, as for reality shows, I watch Awkward, uh, Guy Code, Girl Code, whichever one. I really don't give a fuck. Ridiculousness, you know, stuff like that. But my favorite TV series, it has to be Walking Dead. Um, Next question. What is my favorite game developer or publisher? My favorite game developer or publisher? Okay, my developer, my favorite gaming developer is Bioware. Because... First off, it got one of my favorite gaming series. And two, I really have no hatred towards them except for their fucking ending. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah, as for every other game developer, I've always complained for something really, really stupid. Or I haven't really played a lot of their games enough to say that they're my favorite gaming developer. As for my favorite gaming publisher, right now is Bethesda Software. Why? Because they're producing the new Wolfenstein game. And it's mainly going to be single player. No multiplayer in that game. So I am fucking glad. I'm a Wolfenstein fan. Well, not a big Wolfenstein fan, but I really love the series. So I can't wait to play the shit out of that. So, yep. Question number eight. What do you want to be when you grow up? I've thought about this a while. And I want to be a fairy princess. Be trapped in the castle, wait for my handsome heroic knight to rescue me while I fly away in my Tinkerbell wings and... <laughs> but anyway, nah, I'm, I'm just playing with you guys. I'm just messing around. <laughs> um, my, what do I want to be when I grow up? Hmm. I'm going to have to say a person that makes games. I actually think I could do a better job than what they're doing right now, but that's going a little bit too far because I myself don't know how to make a game. I would love to know how to make a game. Also, I would like to be a comic book writer, not an artist, because I don't know how to draw that much. I'm trying my best out, but I'd rather be a comic book writer because I really love reading comic books. And I believe that a lot of people would enjoy some of the stories I would like to establish in the comic book universe. So, yeah, pretty much that. Um, next question, the same guy asks, what game is this? Mass Effect 3. Um, next question is, what is your favorite game? Crash Bandicoot 3. And the last three questions. Now, this is, uh, wow. This is a little weird because some of the first two are literally, literally the most awkwardest ones. And what a great way to end a Q&A. Wow, it's already been 30 minutes. Holy shit. Sorry for you guys to listen to all this. I'm not even sure if you guys are even here by the time 30 minutes came up. But anyway, question number one. Would you have sex with a cookie or fight the IRS? The IRS. I'd rather have sex with a cookie. To be honest with you, I make love to that cookie. Because the IRS are going to fuck the living shit out of you. They will fuck you up. They will beat the shit out of you. Just to get that one dollar of tax that you owe them. <laughs> I remember there's one episode from Batman, the animated series, where the Joker mentioned that I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS? No, thank you. <laughs> because he knows the IRS will beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Do not fuck with the IRS. Trust me. If you owe taxes, pay that shit because the IRS will come for your nuts. And they do not give a shit about you. They will come for you, man. They will come invade that house, take every little shit that's around your house until you pay up what you owe them. They will even break your hand just because you owe them a penny of tax. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Question number two. Um, what console would you have sex with? Wow, now we're talking about having sex with consoles. Holy shit. <clears throat> if I'm going to have to pick a console, it has to be the PS3. Especially the fat old PS3. Because that shit got a fat ass. I am telling you, that shit got a fucking fat ass, man. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much the, the PS3. <laughs> yep. Yep. Gonna have to have sex with the PS3. Actually, I'll make love to that shit. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'll probably do that shit right now. Now nah, I'm just playing with you guys. <laughs> question number three. And last question of the day. Do other people call you other things besides biscuit? I've been called Sancocho, which probably is cake for Spanish. Um, Biscocho, which also is cake for Spanish. Um, I've been called Tre Leches, which is three cakes or three milks. 
in Spanish, I've been called precious. I've been called print fairy princess. I've been called muff cabbage. I've been called the retarded rebel. I've been called um, I've been called a lot of names to be honest with you. <laughs> I've been called a plastic Dominican. I've been called a Dominican toenail. I've been called the iron Dominican. <laughs> Pretty much every Dominican joke I've been called and other really mentally retarded shit. But yeah, other people called me other things besides Biscuit. So, yep. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the Q&A, even though it's not really what you expected. I know it's really long, but bear with me here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, can't wait to start other walkthroughs. But first, let me do my Far Cry 3 one. Hope you guys see you guys there. My name is Biscuit. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe because I do awesome walkthroughs, or at least I've been told from people. So, yep, peace out, and have a nice day. Bye.